Hey everyone, how's it going? Tarun here and in this video, I'm going to show you about decision making statements. Now, what are decision making statements? So if you want to like execute certain parts of code based on certain conditions, then you use decision making statements. If you have come from like a different programming language background, then even JavaScript decision making statements are way similar to other uh, language decision making statements. So the first one I want to show you is a simple if statement. So Consider a variable x equals to 2, okay? Now let's check if the variable is, a pos is positive or negative and based on that, we'll give the response as yes, it is a positive, if it's a positive number, that's it, okay? So if, okay, then you use a round bracket. Okay, so I have if x is greater than zero, then console.log, yes, it is positive. So let's run this. So it says, yes, it is positive. Now, suppose if I have like less than zero and tell like, uh, no, nope, it is negative, okay? Oh, I need to save that. And it doesn't show up anything, okay, because it's a positive number. Now, there's a second type of decision making statement, which is if else statement. So we can use a else here and use console.log. Yes, it is positive. And when I run that, we get yes, it is positive. So this is if else statement. We also have if else ladder. Now, what is if else ladder? Now, if I want to check else if x greater than zero, execute this, or the final else, console.log, it is neither positive nor negative, okay? This is if else ladder. Again, you could have any number of uh, else ifs and you could have optional else in the end, okay? So that is that. Now, one more last thing I would like to show you. It is called switch statement. Now, what are switch statements? They are pretty much similar to the if and uh, else if ladder, but the syntax is different and the use cases are uh, different. So if I want to use a switch statement, I would say like, say for example, you have grade, equals to say A, okay, A grade. Now if you wanna check uh, where that student stands, then you would use switch grade, okay, case A, and you would execute that code. You would execute that code like that. So within this one, let's say console.log, excellent. So you get excellent. Now suppose I had console.log, good. Okay, you get only excellent because uh, it searches for the grade, it comes inside, it uh, executes this code and once break is called, it just comes out of the switch statement, okay? If you don't have break, it's just gonna keep on continuing to the next case until it finds a break or until the switch cases are over. So at last you could have a default option. So at last you could have this default option which will get executed if none of the cases are matching where you could say console.log invalid grade okay suppose we had a c grade which we have not defined here you would get invalid grade so these are the decision making statements in javascript you need to understand them if you have any doubts please let me know i would be the the most happiest to resolve it otherwise see you guys in the next video goodbye